What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about something a little different. I want to bring up something that nobody has really been talking about at all. And personally, I think that this is a big issue. Now, somehow, a bunch of games have been getting into the official Microsoft Store without achievements. And this has been going on for a few months now. You may have purchased some yourself. If so, let me know down in the comments below. And what I think is going on here is we have a couple different developers that are releasing their games via the Xbox ID program. However, they're not releasing with achievements. Not only that, but they're advertising their game on sale all the time. I found a few games that are on sale with no end date in terms of the sale. Like they're on sale for 99 cents pretty much forever. And what this is doing is this is constantly putting these crappy games into the cells every week. And, you know, if you're like me, you may go into the cells and you may have an urge to purchase the cheapest game every week in the sales. And if so, you may have seen these games because they're constantly on sale for 99 cents. The only thing is, is that these are crap games. And on top of that, they don't have any achievements. And so there's two problems here. One is there should be no games releasing through the Xbox ID program that don't have any achievements. If you see it on the main store, you should be confident that it has achievements. We've gotten to a point where if you see a game that's 99 cents, it's like almost too good to be true. You need to basically double check, go to true achievements and make sure that it has achievements before you press the buy button. Because at this point, you know, we're kind of skeptical. You know whether some of these games have achievements or not and really we should be confident that if it's in the regular store it will have achievements we really shouldn't have to second guess ourselves guys so first problem is these games don't have achievements and they're in the regular store that's not cool for instance this game right here masked ninja action the regular price is $25.99 however it's discounted to 99 cents forever so basically you go into the cells you see oh dang you know this 26 dollar game's on sale for 99 cents whatever it triggers you to buy the game and then you play it and you realize it doesn't have any achievements so yeah we definitely got to figure something out because if nobody says anything about this the xbox store is going to end up like the freaking windows store where you know 90 percent of the games don't even have achievements so if you're like me you want to be confident that when you purchase a game from the regular xbox store that it's going to support achievements i don't know how xbox id is letting these games hit the store without achievements that's absolutely ridiculous in terms of quality control now other than that there's the issue with leaving games discounted forever if we do that, it's going to end up like the Nintendo Switch store where basically the sales pages are infiltrated with all of these games that are on sale for 99 cents pretty much forever. Personally, I don't believe a game should be able to be on sale for forever. You should have to put an end date to that promotion or that sale. Otherwise, it's just going to end up in the sales page every week with all the games that are actually on sale. It's just a cheap way that these developers or publishers have found out a way to sell their games you know they're constantly you know grouped with the 30 games that are on sale every week or whatever amount it is and they're constantly you know getting that free marketing by being in the sales every week and again if you're somebody that maybe just likes to purchase the best deals every week or the cheapest games on sale every week then you may be seeing these games often and man I just had to say something because this has been going on for a few months now and I'm extremely surprised that it's still going on or that nobody has said anything because these games are almost hitting the store every week now and again if nobody brings it up or says anything the store is going to end up being infiltrated with this junk okay i understand if a game isn't good or whatever but if it doesn't have achievements it should belong in the creators program or creators collection whatever they call it it's the indie section that isn't officially through xbox id those games don't have achievements although they are available in the store but they're in a whole separate section of the store so that you don't get those games mixed up with the regularly published games so yeah if they don't have achievements they don't belong in the regular store hopefully xbox will fix this other than that the second issue i have with this is the games that are constantly putting themselves on sale at 99 cents especially because they don't have achievements so these crappy games are constantly getting exposure in these sales 
on top of that they don't have achievements so yeah i just wanted to make a quick video letting you guys know about this issue and i also want to show you how you can spot these games just so you don't waste any money trying to purchase these games what you can do is you can go to a game and as you can see in the footage that you've been watching the past few minutes if you go to any of these games and you go to the features the features will show you whether it has xbox achievement support so before you purchase a game i recommend going down into the features for the game and just verifying that it supports achievements that or just looking it up on trueachievements.com and making sure it has achievements because you don't want to go waste your money you know on a game that doesn't have achievements well unless you aren't into achievement hunting which if you're watching this video more than likely you are so yeah just make sure that before you purchase a game for 99 cents or even a dollar in 99 cents that you go into the game like this you go down to the details and you go to the right and you will see that there's no support for xbox achievements i'm going to show you guys some examples of games that do have achievements so you know what to look for you know in case it does have achievements again if you're in the xbox store you want to go down to the details page and you're going to scroll over to xbox live capabilities as you can see it says xbox achievements let's try another game for example here is lost in random this one's published by ea a well-known publisher again you go to xbox live capabilities on the details page it shows xbox achievements let's try life is strange again published by a well-known publisher square enix and again the details page shows that it has xbox live capabilities along with xbox achievement support so that's how you can verify whether a game has achievements or does not have achievements. Because again, I want to help you guys make sure that you're not wasting any of your money on these crap games. Because they are infiltrating the store and I've really just got sick of it. And I, again, I just had to make a video because, I don't know, I feel like if nobody talks about it, it will never get fixed. So sometimes you just got to speak up. But before I end this video, let's go to the sales page so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Xbox Game Specials. If you click right here it will show you all of the games that are on sale every week and we're gonna find probably I'm guessing at least five of these games on the Xbox sales page so let's go ahead and go through and we'll see if we can pick them out again all you got to do is look out for the 99 cent game there we go hunt ducks has 18 bad reviews we're gonna go to the details page has no achievement support shouldn't be on the store Let's continue, see if we can find another one. We got another one right here, Guilt Battle Arena. Detail page, no achievement support. Got another one right here, Masked Ninja Action. We talked about that one earlier. It's forever on sale for 99 cents. And it has no achievement support. Let's continue. Again, we're just on the sales page, the weekly sales page, guys. Squares, Brain Game. Doesn't have any achievement support. And it looks like it's on sale for the next 17 days. All right, we have another one right here. Brick Breaker, Shoot Puzzle. We'll go to the detail page. And it has no achievement support. Again, 99 cents. Or actually, that one was $1.99. So sometimes that happens as well. It's either going to be 99 cents or $1.99. Dow. Another game a lot of people probably purchased thinking it had achievements, and it did not. I mean at this point personally guys it's real easy to pick these games out i mean the key art isn't that good compared to other games on the store so not only you know are they cheap games but they really don't have good art representing them you can kind of pick them out here we have another one future ninja doesn't have achievement support i mean i hate to talk down on devs i try to you know help devs out and promote their games but how did you make it through the xbox id program with no achievements i really just don't understand we have another one right here, Assassin's Run 2D. That was probably like six or seven games that were on the main sales page on the Xbox store, discounted to 99 cents, and they don't have achievements. Like, how did this happen? Please put these games in the creator collection where they belong. Because I'm telling you, as somebody that looks at the Xbox sales page weekly, I do not enjoy second guessing myself and having to look up a game every time I want to purchase a game to make sure it has achievements. We really shouldn't have to do that. We should be confident with Xbox that any games that are on the main store will have achievements. End rant.